Hi Orko, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining in. So, could you kindly introduce yourself? Hello, I am Orko Maji. Uh, I am currently a fourth year student at the Department of Chemical Engineering at Jagatpur University. And I recently got a pre-placement offer at GS Associates uh, for the role of uh, Business Operations Associate, that is PO. So, uh, can you just uh, say, like, since you got a PPO in the first place, how did the recruitment process was for you? Uh, actually, ZS conducts an annual competition uh, called Campus Beats. Mm -hmm. It is held in March uh, every year. So, oh, the process is like that. You have to form a team uh, uh, of uh, three to five participants. Then you are supposed to solve a case study in the first round. Uh, then if your uh, case is selected by the jurors uh, and uh, you are in the top 150 teams, you will be selected for the PPI process, the interview process. Mm -hmm. uh, after the group case study, you are supposed to have an individual case study followed by a case explanation round. Uh, if I am saying that each of these rounds are uh, actually disqualified rounds, so uh, okay. uh, these, are, these are eliminating rounds actually. Uh, if you are qualifying in the case uh, individual case study explanation round, then you are selected for the EBI FIT round, the evidence-based interview. Uh, so if you qualify that, uh, you get the uh, PPO opportunity. So can you just walk me through the case study competition which you had, and like in uh, each stages, what were the number of elimination taking place? So the top 150 teams were uh, selected in the first round. I'm not aware of the total number of teams. Okay. So the first round, uh, you are supposed to have a aptitude test followed by a case study round. So uh, in the earlier years, what CS did was they gave the case study uh, problem mm -hmm. and we are expected to solve the case study in 48 hours. So basically even two days for a solution. However, they changed the uh, methodology this year and uh, we are given a total of three hours for the aptitude round and the case study round. So for it was uh, actually held together. Uh, we, we were given the aptitude round uh, around 15 minutes and after that you basically jumped into the case study. So our team was called Team Unmade. Uh, it uh, had uh, three of my friends from chemical department itself. And uh, it is not uh, it is not compulsory that you have to make the team from the same department. If you have friends from other departments who are interested in uh, these case study related uh, things, so you can contact them and uh, ask to be in a team. I would just suggest that make a team uh, who are passionate in this uh, uh, field, who actually know how to use basic Excel and PowerPoint to form the solution of the case study. So during the case study round, uh, you will be given uh, quantitative and qualitative questions. Uh, basically, you will get given a set of data and you are supposed to answer the uh, questions. They will, you will be given questions according to the case study. For example, my case study was uh, about a company uh, which is uh, looking to give out bonuses to its managers. Uh, so it was a pretty basic uh, question uh, for the first round about what are the growth opportunities in the area. Uh, in the second part, uh, you are asked to give uh, the company uh, some ideas about how to improve in this area, how to get a better option for uh, giving out bonuses. So uh, in the first team-based case study, you are given three, three hours, followed by that you will be given, a, if you are in the top 150 teams, there will be an individual case study round. Okay. So I have forgotten the individual case study. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, so the individual case study round was uh, held around a month after, uh, around two months after the uh, original group case study. Uh, all of my teammates were eliminated, sadly, in that round. Uh, then, proceeding the case interview, individual case interview. So we went to the um, FIT round, EBI FIT round. So okay. in that interview, we were given basic HR questions and I was asked about my training and this. So as we know that uh, this is not a core company, this is a non-core consultancy based company. So uh, like how did you prepare yourself for appearing for each of these rounds? So 
my main source of education was GP. Uh, so the uh, bigger consulting firms like McKinsey and Bean, uh, they uh, publish videos on their own channel for uh, helping us to prepare in their case interviews. I would just like to say that uh, they have shared actually structured case interviews uh, like uh, during the interview you are given an unknown problem mm -hmm. and you have to solve it in front of an interview. Uh, but mm -hmm. in our case uh, you are given a one hour uh, time window for the individual case and if they like your case then you are asked to actually present your solution to a ZS employee. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I would like to suggest that uh, go for those uh, those interviews, Bean and McKenzie's uh, YouTube pages. Uh, one of our seniors, Somoji Child, uh, engineered learning. He has a channel called Engineered Learnings. I would suggest that you go that go go there and uh, look for his video. He has made a lot of great videos about GS Associates, how to get tested GS Associates. So mm -hmm. those videos actually help you and. Other than that, I am Lakno also has some great uh, guesstimate, uh, guesstimate process videos that how you are supposed to actually go through a guesstimate question, how you are supposed to formulate an answer about uh, your strategy. So those three actually help me. And the, for the interviews, I would say that you, you can find the basic HR questions anywhere on the internet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, did the interview consist of the normal guesstimates and the puzzle questions which are there for these consultancy-based companies? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, in the first interview, actually, uh, mm -hmm. in the first interview, my entire one hour was taken up for my case explanation. So, okay. the first interview, actually, it was supposed to have some puzzles and uh, mm -hmm. guesstimates, but uh, as my interview, uh, dragged on for one hour about the case, just the case so that I uh, actually the interviewer did not get an opportunity for those uh, some of the other candidates from other departments actually told me that uh, they were asked about case limits and case studies I don't know what will be the case for anyone so I'm just personally uh, prepared for that in the EIFIT round actually uh, it was, uh, we are told from before that we will be given the puzzles and estimates. So the FIT round started uh, with the introduction of the principal who took my video, uh, took my interview. So he introduced himself and then I was asked to introduce myself. He said that he went to my CV and, wanted, uh, and asked me if I wanted to add anything to my CV. So I had just completed my uh, summer training at uh, Steel Authority of India Limited. Uh, so that was an important point for me that uh, I could talk about the economics of steel. Uh, so you see, they are a consulting company, so they are not interested in the technical aspect. They are interested okay. in what the economics of steel. So he mm -hmm. just asked me that as a consultant, what can I learn from your inter uh, your experience at steel? So I just uh, went through all the basics that steel is the most important industry and all. So after that, uh, he went straight to puzzles. Puzzles, they are just basic puzzles. So you can get them from uh, GFG, Reach uh, for Geeks. Uh, and yeah. following that, uh, you, are, you can do the guesstimates. Guesstimates, there, there is no idea uh, about what you will get. So some uh, sample question can be that guesstimate the number of people currently wearing a red shirt in India. About your approach, they are not looking for an exact answer. What they are looking for is the approach to your answer. Mm -hmm. uh, so, India Learning, so the has great videos on guesstimates, and also I am lucky, as I said earlier. Yeah. Following that, we went directly into HR questions. Pretty basic HR questions about workplace conflicts and uh, mm -hmm. have you done anything unethical to help your team? Basic okay. HR. Questions. So. On an ending note, would you like to add some suggestions for the juniors who will be like appearing next year? In our year, uh, we most of our teams were not expecting a three-hour case study. So don't go in expecting a two-day case study. Expect a three-day case, three-hour case study. Mm -hmm. uh, 
then I would suggest you to make the, a team of five and considering just uh, make sure that one person is always typing something and otherwise you won't get the time because the solving takes a lot of time mm -hmm. just uh, make sure that one person is just typing your answers at uh, some time when the others are busy solving it for the individual case study uh, I would suggest that uh, to look for the McKenzie and Bain case studies uh, like mm -hmm. because the interviews will be like that for the ABI round, I would just go for geeks uh, for geeks uh, uh, puzzles and estimates from YouTube. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, did you come to know about this time change, like this time frame change quite uh, like... No, uh, no, no. no. Uh, okay. we, we went in expecting two days, but mm -hmm. uh, as we started the assessment, it was, there was a time out of three hours, so that was fine. Okay. Okay, so thanks for joining with us once again and Thank congratulations for, for getting placed at ZS. It was great talking to you.